Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll show you how you can mount your containers, okay, to Visual Studio and access the container file system or container directories inside Visual Studio. Okay. So first thing, uh, I already have the Docker engine installed on my Windows machine, which is uh, Docker for desktop. Second, in my Visual Studio, I have certain plugins installed. First plugin which allows you to do this is Dev Container plugin. Second plugin which you require is a Docker plugin. Okay, once you have all these things installed, you can do F1. Okay, and you can say Dev Container, and you can say create a new container. So we are creating a new container, and this will not only just create the container, but it will mount your container inside Visual Studio. Okay, when I say mount the container inside Visual Studio, it's file system. Okay. You can say add container with configuration file. So if you already have a Docker image and you want to build a container from the Docker image, and then you want to mount that container inside the visual studio, you can use the second option in that scenario. I'll go ahead with the first option. Okay. So now you need to select which, uh, container do you want? So let's say that I want to do Golang development. So I can search for go language container. So you can see here there is a Golang go container over here. Okay. And you can just create a container or you can go with additional option. You need an additional option. You have an option to select the uh, variants of the Golang image. So I'm going with the first uh, Bolsa image. Okay. And I can say, okay, over here. Now what this will do is this will create the container for us. You can, as you can see over the over here, you can see the logs. So yeah, it has started creating the container and inside the container, uh, okay. Container is getting created over here right now. And it is associating whatever volume is required and all those things. It will take two, three minutes to do this thing. And once this is created, okay, here you will see the file system. Let's wait for this to finish. You see the container is created. Okay. And uh, you can open the terminal over here, new terminal. So you're inside the container right now. There is a workspace folder which is created. And inside that, there is a Go folder which is created. Not only this, you can install extensions if you want to. Okay, inside, so you can see inside dev container, if you want any extension, you can search and install those extensions. Right now, there are two extensions. There is the ESLint extension and there is a Golang extension uh, inside, the, inside the container, which is installed. Okay, now let's create a folder. Let's create a folder known as app. Okay, and inside this folder, I'll create a file known as main.go. Okay, and let's say that I'm creating this Go application. I'll just paste it over here. Okay. And I can see this file inside my container. I can have, I have the app folder. You can see this over here. Okay. And now I can build, I can say go build. Okay. And dot. I'll say go mod in it. Hello, go mod in it. Hello app. Okay. And I'll say go build. I don't know. <laughs> hello app. So this will build my hello world app. So here is my hello world app. Now I can run it. And it says hello world. Okay. So I don't have the Golang installed on my laptop. Everything is happening inside the container. So this is how you can mount the container, okay, or container file system inside your Visual Studio to basically ease your development. This is it for this video. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching.